welcome back to Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. You are cooking with Sheila, except I'm not going to cook today. I'm actually going to show you how to make one of our favorite cocktails. I have a very special guest in the kitchen with me today. I have my friend Joan, and we're going to talk about Joan's business, My Touch Creations, over pina coladas, y'all. And so, Joan, can you say hello to everyone? Hello, everybody. And uh, I'm just going to get started because we want to taste these pina coladas. We haven't had any since we came back from Puerto Rico. Yes. Joan's dad took us to, what was the name of that place? Barcina? Yes, House yes. of Barcina. House of Barcina and in Old San Juan. Yes, yes, and they claim that they are the originators of the pina colada. So this is their recipe, y'all. And so we first started with some chopped ice. I put some ice in here, chopped it up, and I will provide the recipe, but you know, I'm just gonna kind of wing it today, and it's kind of one of those days, so it may have a little more rum in it than you know you might, but I'll give you the exact uh <laughs> <laughs> as it should. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some frozen pineapples. So I took fresh pineapples and then I chopped them up and then I put them in the freezer. Oh. So that helps kind of with that slushiness that I we like. I never thought to do that. Remember how they were so yes. creamy? and Yeah, yes. they were like perfect. And all the ladies are shaking their head because <laughs> uh, Wendy's in the house. She's the videographer. Hey. And we got Ms. Leslie over there too in the house. And we tore them pina coladas up, y'all. Yes, we did. So, okay, we're gonna put those in there, and then we're just gonna start blending. Oh, let me put a little liquid in there first. So this is just pineapple juice, you guys. So okay. your pina colada's gotta have some fresh pineapple and some pineapple juice. And rum, too, y'all. Y'all know that, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> the only way to make them. Absolutely. Look at that. That's good. Wow. So now we're going to add coconut cream. So this is like key to the House of Barcina's pina colada is the coconut cream. And then, of course, <laughs> your favorite rum. Yes, yes. <laughs> We just gonna have a pina colada good time today. So, so Joan, when did you start uh, My Touch Creations? It's been about two years now. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's it's it was um, the business took off before I did. Absolutely. Um, and it was born out of a need of. Have you ever gone to the store to look for a greeting card and nothing says just what you're looking for? Nothing. And so you find yourself buying a card and then writing a paragraph on the other side of the yes, card. Yes, absolutely. So, I was in Walgreens one day, and we're all looking at Father's Day cards, and the, you can see the frustration, because yes. now, in this day and age, you don't just have mother, father, you Correct. know, you've got grandparents raising children, you have people that aren't even related to people raising children, Absolutely. and there's it, just, the cookie cutter doesn't work anymore. Absolutely. And so, out of that need of that special circumstance, which I found is really not that special. Right. It's you pretty know? common. Right. Absolutely. Um... That's how My Touch Creations was born. Awesome! Yes. You yes. guys are gonna learn more about My Touch after we get these pina coladas mixed up. Yes. Okay? And one more blend. Look at that, y'all. Okay, these pina coladas are ready, and when we come back, we're gonna taste them for you, and we're gonna tell you how good they are. We are back, y'all, and we've got these pina coladas. So the first thing we're going to do, you want to taste them? Yes. Yes, let's do. So okay. cheers. Cheers. And I want to get cheers to your dad. Oh, thank you. Because if it wasn't for your dad, I would have never had that experience. So, that was an awesome experience. Yes, awesome. it was. Yes, cheers it was. to daddy. Yes. Here you go, dad. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. You get those chunks of pineapple that's in there? Right. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's it's fire, y'all. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> yes, that it does. does. It really, really does. You know, which reminds me, you know, one of the reasons why we do this, you know, every week is, you know, our goal is to use the kitchen as a platform 
to help restore families, you know, one meal at a time. And I always ask everyone, you know, to share a fond memory, you know, when you were growing up with food, the kitchen, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You got one for us? I do. My father made, he called them stickies. Okay. And I'm not quite sure what it was, but he would roll out dough. Okay. And then spread nuts and cinnamon and butter and, and it rolled almost like a pinwheel. Okay. But it was something that his father taught him. Okay. And I just remember those Sundays being in the kitchen with him. Yes. And that time that you share in the kitchen when you're when you're with your parents or whoever's teaching you how to cook, it's not just about cooking. No. And it's no. not just about the food. It's about the time. Yes. And sharing that interaction. And it's almost like love. It is. You know, you're sharing that with whoever's with you. Yes. And absolutely. you just feel the warmth and you feel the it's it was that I, and every time he comes here, I want to have that same experience again. Yes. So it's Aww. it's really good. You're so blessed. I, your I dad truly am. is. How old is your dad? Eighty-seven. Wow. Yes. I remember we were walking up the hill in uh, Old San Juan, and he, we were like, he way ahead of us. Yes. And he's like, "Come on, girls!" And it's like, <laughs> yes, yes. A couple of times I tapped Daddy. We're done. <laughs> yes. we, we passed so many restaurants. We passed so many. Of Daddy, we're done. Yes. Oh, and and his answer was always, "It's just right up ahead." Yes. It's, we walked for miles. <laughs> It's just right up ahead, but it was totally worth it. Yes, it was. In it, the was. End, it was totally worth absolutely, it. Absolutely, absolutely. Having that that time, I unfortunately didn't have that kind of you know relationship with my dad, and so it's just, and I'm getting all teary eyed because yes. it just you it know was, it was it was an awesome experience. I am truly blessed, and I'm thankful that I was able to share that with my closest friends. Yes, yes. Um, and to see his face, do you remember when we when we left? When oh, we were in the airport. Yes. And he was waving <laughs> and it was just yes. to be able to share his love yes. with you all. Absolutely. It was just a it, that was a trip that yes. a, and we have to do it again. We will. We have Absolutely. To do it again. Daddy, we coming back to Puerto Rico, okay? Yes, we are. <laughs> we are and I do want to say this. I think that people have forgot about the people in Puerto Rico. Okay. The island is still devastated. Um, only about 20 or 25 percent is back up and running. Oh, wow. Yes. And just prayers for Puerto Rico. Okay. That's that's all okay. I want to say. Okay. But yes. Okay. Those you are guys hear people. that. Those are our peeps. Okay. Yes. So, you know, regardless of what others may think or say, those are our peeps. Yes. Those are United States. Citizens. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, they are. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Joan, can you tell us, you know, you shared a little bit about, you know, the why, mm -hmm. you know, and how, you know, uh, my touch creations was birth mm -hmm. and so can you share with people um you know just a little more about that and how they can get in contact with you well um i don't have a um i don't have a internet page but i do have a facebook page instagram and pinterest and i didn't because everything is custom made and yes. I didn't want people to go to a website and say, I want to order this and order that. Correct. Because these cards are custom made for whatever you want. Absolutely. And so I don't duplicate. Got it. Duplicate it. But if you want to look and see some of the cards that I've made, you can go to, there's a My Touch Creations Facebook page. Okay. And Instagram okay. and Pinterest. Awesome. So you can go out and look and see what's out there. Okay. I have two different sizes. Okay. Um, I have a medium size and a large size. And the only thing I can say is this card can be whatever you whatever you want. Okay. Um, it's funny that I almost want to call them communication cards mm -hmm. because I have made break breakup cards. I have done. Um, wow. I'm sorry you're leaving. You know you've left a job. Right. It's not just you know initially I thought about birthdays, Christmas, yes. the major holidays, yes. but I've made more cards that aren't affiliated with that, wow. and it's really been interesting. Wow. And there have been, and I would have thought this was. Um, men, but mm -hmm. I've had more women mm -hmm. that just want a card because they can't get their their point across in a conversation. Got it. There's issues, oh. or I want to say something and I'm shy and yes. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. And so I've made a lot of those cards wow. where it's just, you know, I just need this person to hear me. Yes. Or I just want to express this, but I have a problem in face to face. Got it. It's just, it's been, it's really been awesome. I really love it. Yes. I can tell you yes. do. Look at you. <laughs> I love it. Yes. When we love what we do, it's not work. It's not work at you all. Know? Yes. And it's a, it's a need. And, um, you know, to put that creative energy. Now, I don't know about you, but like when I get in the kitchen, it's like therapy for yes. me. Is yes. that what yes. making cards is? It okay. is. 
And to and to give someone a card, a lot of times I'm not there when the person receives it, but when I am and to see the look on their face, yes. that's what does it. Yes. You know, it's like, yes. okay, yes. I hit the point. Yes. That's what did it. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Joan, is there anything else you would want the viewers to know about yourself or my touch? Um, nothing other than if you have a situation and you've gone to the store and you can't find what you're looking for, look me up. You can have just like I customize the inside of the cart. You can say whatever you want to say right here. Wow. You can pick the color. Um, I didn't bring any with me, but if you have a picture, okay, you can have the picture on the front. It's totally custom to wow. whatever you need. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. In Kansas City, she's right here. So there's no reason why we should not be tapping in to Joan and the resource and the gift that she has to, that she can provide for you and your loved ones. So uh cheers yes thank you so much let's do it again yes let's do it we're gonna toast again y'all cheers thank you sheila you're welcome thank you baby <laughs> <laughs> you all enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to follow us instagram facebook y'all and that whole twitter thing but guess what E40 liked one of my tweets. Actually, Yay! he liked two of my tweets yes, last week. So that's awesome. Yay! 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 I'm so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we will see you next week. Thank you.